Okay, so no shocker here. Marjorie Taylor Greene doesn't hesitate to say mean and cringeworthy things. Some might think it's just for the shock value or to cater to her similarly situated far right followers on social media. I mean, there isn't a cruel soundbite MTG hasn't liked. But just a few days ago, during a House subcommittee hearing, while the president of the American Federation of Teachers, Randy Weingarten, was being questioned about her recommendations to the CDC, MTG went beyond the pale. Are you a mother? I am a mother by marriage. By marriage, I see. As not a medical doctor, not a biological mother, um, and, and really not a teacher either. The problem is, is people like you need to admit that you're just a political activist, not a Gentle teacher, lady, is not a mother, and not a medical doctor. No, MTG, actually, the problem is you. You and your insensitivity and cruelty to state that just because Randy Weingarten did not give birth to her children, that that somehow makes her less of a mother. That by being a stepmother or an adoptive mother, she is suddenly less qualified or less capable to provide counsel or advice about how certain decisions impact children. I'm sure it also didn't escape MTG's notice when Randy Weingarten acknowledged that she's a woman married to a woman. Randy's wife, Rabbi Sharon Kleinbaum, was present at that congressional hearing, and so she also suffered through the very public attempts by MTG to humiliate two married women and to challenge and undermine their status as mothers. Reactions to MTG were swift and fierce. Representative Robert Garcia immediately shot back during the hearing at MTG, condemning her lack of decorum by attacking a witness. And Congressman Maxwell Frost, well, he wasn't shy about how he felt. But instead of admitting that she was wrong, MTG decided to just double down on Twitter by posting a clip of that exchange with Randy and insulting her again by writing that she isn't a mother. Why? Because she doesn't have the decency to concede when she has overstepped, misstepped, or just plain messed up. For a while, I wasn't sure about what my own future entailed, so I looked into adoption. Putting aside whether I was confident about the kind of mother I would end up being, I knew I wanted to be a mother. Not once did it ever occur to me that by adopting a child that it would mean I was somehow less of a mother to that child. And for a while, I wasn't sure about my future marriage prospects, so the idea of marrying someone who was already blessed with children was a definite possibility. And I clearly wasn't in the minority. According to the Step Family Foundation Incorporated, 30 million children under the age of 13 are currently living with one biological parent and that biological parent's current partner. In the end, I had to undergo IVF to get pregnant, and eventually I successfully gave birth to my daughter. Does the fact that I used IVF to have my little girl mean that I am now less of a mother? What about if I had had to use a surrogate? My good friend Michael Steele wrote this in response to MTG. Well, Representative MTG, the woman who adopted me, cared for me, raised me, loved me, inspired me, disciplined me, educated me, and at 95 still smiles when I walk in the room, didn't need biology to be my mother. Hashtag adoption. And Michael's shared wisdom hits the mark. MTG may try to redefine what it means to be a mother, but she's wrong. And her attempts will fail miserably because being a parent is certainly not what she thinks it is. Being a mother is more than just giving birth to a child. It's about unconditional love, guidance, patience, listening, and understanding. It's about acceptance and kindness coupled with strength and discipline, encouragement and growth. With Mother's Day around the corner, maybe Marjorie Taylor Greene needs to take a moment and learn what that special day truly recognizes and honors.